So a planet's climate can be impacted by lots of different things. It could be asteroid impacts, which we know from uh, the event of the end of Cretaceous had a, a large impact on the planet's climate. We know that supervolcanoes, when they erupt, such as underneath Yellowstone, have a, a very strong influence on climate. It could be solar flares, supernovae of fairly close stars in the, the galaxy. There are lots of reasons why it seems like Earth shouldn't have stayed habitable. Somehow it's managed to sort of like stay on the knife edge, if you like, and maintain these habitable conditions even though it seems like it should be really precarious. Earth has stayed habitable and obviously if it hadn't, then we wouldn't be here. So that's a puzzle that's behind this work. How did Earth actually manage to stay habitable when uh, reasoning suggests to us that it was more likely that it shouldn't have? We now realise that there are billions of sort of similar to Earth planets, similar size to Earth planets, in not so dissimilar orbits around their parent stars. So even in our own galaxy, there are billions of these planets. So the approach that I took, stimulated in part by these exoplanet discoveries, was to model thousands upon thousands of randomly different planets to simulate their temperature evolutions for billions of years and then to see which ones were able to stay habitable. And then from that to try and gain some lessons about what it means for Earth. We found that there was a whole spectrum of different degrees of success of different planets. So there were large numbers of planets that stayed habitable just occasionally. Some of them stayed ha habitable quite often. Some of them stayed habitable uh, the majority of the times. But the main outcome was that most of the instances where planets stayed habitable were of planets that were very much not guaranteed to stay habitable, but dependent upon chance events could stay habitable. And so from that, the main implication that we draw from those results is that it's most likely that Earth's success in terms of staying habitable for such an extraordinary duration was partly down to chance. It wasn't guaranteed at the outset. When we find out more about these planets, these ones that appear to be very similar to Earth, and perhaps are, were at the outset very similar to Earth, it's probable, we think, that most of those will be found to be uninhabitable or certainly not inhabited by complex life when more investigations are done, because it's probable that maintaining habitability for such extraordinary durations is something that doesn't occur very frequently.